Hello everyone. Starting in April of 2023, we will be making two changes to Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3 to put our latest best practices for bucket security into effect automatically. Today, I'll show you what you should know about the coming changes. Amazon S3 buckets are and always have been private by default. Only the bucket owner can access the bucket or choose to grant access to other users. Amazon S3 added block public access in 2018 to prevent granting public access to S3 buckets and the ability to disable ACLs or access control lists in 2021 in favor of using AWS Identity and Access Management or IAM policies as a simplified and more flexible access control alternative. Starting in April 2023, we will be making two changes to Amazon S3 to put our latest best practices for bucket security into effect automatically. Once the changes are in effect for a target region, all newly created buckets in the region will by default have S3 block public access enabled and access control list disabled. Both of these options are already console defaults. The options will become the default for buckets that are created using S3 API, S3 CLI, the AWS SDKs, and AWS CloudFormation templates. The changes will begin to go into effect in April and will be rolled out to all AWS regions within weeks. I will now take you through the console to demonstrate the default settings. When creating a new S3 bucket, ACLs will be disabled by default. The bucket owner enforced setting will be enabled for newly created buckets, making bucket ACLs and object ACLs ineffective and ensuring that the bucket owner is the object owner, no matter who uploads the object. Looking at the block public access settings for newly created buckets, all four bucket level settings will be enabled by default. A subsequent attempt to set a bucket policy or an access point policy that grants public access will be rejected with a 403 access denied error. If you need public access for a new bucket, you can create it as usual and then delete the public access block by calling the delete public access block API. Throughout the Create Bucket Console, you will be able to see notifications on the upcoming permissions changes. Thank you for your time today and ensure that you consult with the Amazon S3 documentation around the default settings for new S3 buckets. Please also note that these settings are only applicable to the new buckets created and do not apply to the old buckets that are already existing in your account.